Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Precious Ubueze. In today's video, we'll quickly look at some special problems in exponential equations. These are, remember that an exponential equation is an equation, you know, where the exponents are variables. For example, 2 raised to power 3, sorry, raised to power x equal to 4 is an exponential equation because there is the presence of an exponent which is a variable okay and now remember also that one of the things that allow us solve exponential equations easily is the fact that on the right on the both sides of the equation that we can actually write them in exponent form such that they will have the same base and then when that happens we can apply that rule that says if a raised to power m is equal to a raised to power n then m is equal to n Remember here that in this case, A must not be 1. If A is 1, then this rule doesn't hold because uh, whether your M and N are equal, your A, 1 raised to power anything will always give you 1. And so this can be equal and the powers will not be equal if A is equal to 1. So we always have this condition. Okay, now we said that this is what we are going to apply in solving this. Of course, if I do 2 raised to power x equal to 2 raised to power 2, I can easily now apply this. Since the bases are the same, therefore, my x is equal to 2. And that gives me the solution. Now, what if a case where you have now the bases not being the same and there is no way you can change it like here. The bases are not the same here, but I was able to change 4 to base 2 such that uh, the basis became the same now but what if you now have a case where the basis are not the same and we have treated such problems where we saw that we can apply logarithm on both sides and that will allow us get a solution now but in this case here you have two equations you will discover that logarithm may not possibly allow or give us you know what we need to be able to solve this problem meanwhile we have addition you know in the equation so what do we do in such case and that is what we want to look at in this video okay so now we have two problems to solve here this is the first one here we have that 6 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 42 and there is a second equation okay so what do we do with these two equations now the first thing to look at is to observe that the the basis here are the same but there is addition and so I cannot apply the rule of indices and now the powers are not the same and they are not in the same variable and so what should I do there very easy to see what to do now so from this equation 2 that's going to help me to order this one properly remember to solve this equation you're looking for the value of x and what y okay so now what let, let me start with this equation so from here i would want to make my variables to be the same so I will, i'm going to make y the subject of the formula of the second equation and that's going to give me y as equal to 3 minus x and if that happens, I'm going to now substitute this into this first equation. And that's going to give me 6 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power 3 minus x equal to 42. And when I have this, what do I do next? And so to be able to solve this, you are going to see that I am going to now apply the rule of indices that says that when you have subtraction, that what happened is that there was a division initially. That means this is the same thing as 6 raised to power 3 all over 6 raised to power x. And this is equal to 42. So what should I do next? Just multiply through with this denominator so you can clear this fraction. And so I'm going to multiply through by 6 raised to power x. And if I do that, I am going to have 6 raised to power x times 6 raised to power x. Then plus 6 raised to power x multiplying this will remove this. So I will just have 6 raised to power 3 left. And this is going to give me 42 times 6 raised to power x. And here, if I bring these two together, I'm going to get 6 raised to power 2x plus 6 raised to power 3 equal to 42.6 raised to power x. Remember that this thing is multiplication. And if you watch carefully here, you'll see that this is already leading us into the form of a quadratic equation. And so your solution is at hand. And so what should we do? And the factor that you are going to substitute here is 6 raised to power x. And so we should bring all these things to this side. And if we do that, remember to factorize 2 here. And that's going to give us 6 raised to power x or raised to power 2 plus. Now, sorry, if I'm bringing this over first, I'm going to have minus 42 dot 6 raised to power x then plus 
my 6 raised to the power 3, which is actually 2, 1, 6. Everything is equal to 0 now. And so from here, I am going to substitute 6 raised to the power x. And so I will say, let my 6 raised to the power x be equal to, let's call it p. And if we do that, we are going to get that if we substitute here, we'll now have p squared minus 42p plus 216 is equal to 0. And so we can solve this quadratically to get our solution. And so remember how to solve. We are multiplying the coefficient here is 1. So if we multiply, we get 216. So we are looking for two factors of 216 that will sum to get minus 42. And we multiply, we get 216. And simply, you see that those two factors are just these two. And so we use it to repla replace what we have here. So we have... So you remember what... I said here, just open your bracket and then open another one, put your two piece and then carry these two factors and put here. So you have minus 36, minus 6, all is equal to 0. So that means our P is equal to 36 or what? 6. But remember that this is just the value of P, you would need the value of X. And so to get the value of x, you need to substitute all of this into this equation. And so we are going to get two values. So for p equal to 36, what it means is that 6 raised to power x is equal to 36. And 36 is 6 raised to power 2. So equal basis. Therefore, my x is equal to 2. And then what about when my p is equal to 6? So for p equal to 6, it implies that 6 raised to the power x is equal to 6, which is 6 raised to the power 1. For equal basis, therefore, the powers are the same. Hence, my x here is what? 1. And so, having gotten the value of x as 1 and 2, you would need to get the value of y using this other equation here. Maybe I should have called this one star and called this one star star. And so, using equation star, I will be able to get the value of or the values of y because we're going to have two values now and so that means my y is going to be 3 minus the first value of x which is 2 and that's going to give me 1 and the second value is going to be 3 minus also uh, if you say 3 minus 1 here you also get 2 and so you see that they are interchanging so that means when x is 1 your y is equal to 2 and when uh, y is 2 Sorry, when x is 2, your y is equal to 1. So you can just choose one of them. Or you can choose this one. And you will discover that if you substitute any of these two answers into this equation, your answer will be correct. If you put x as 1 here, you'll get 6 raised to the power 1, which is 6. If you put y as 2, that's 6 raised to the power 2, which is 36. 36 plus 6 is 42, and 1 plus 2 is 3. And the other way around, you will still get your solution. So that's how to solve problems of this nature. Now I'm going to write the second example which I would expect you to do as an exercise. So this is the second example which I'm going to leave for you as an exercise. Please take your time to look at it, solve it, uh, and find a solution to it. Right, and this is where we'll end this video for today, or for this class, sorry. Meet you in our next video. And uh, please subscribe, share, and like our video. Thank you very much.